Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about how important it is to have accurate pH readings when you test your samples. In this case, we're gonna be testing salami. When fermenting salami, your target pH is anything below 5.3. The lower you go, the more tangy or acidic your salami is gonna get. Anything under 5.3 is considered the safe zone and you're creating an environment that's inhospitable to bad bacteria. If your pH is above 5.3, then you're gonna create an environment in which bad bacteria will want to grow and thrive. So what happens when you test your salami and your pH meter tells you that you're in the safe zone? Let's say it's 5.0, but in reality, it's giving you a false reading and you're not in the safe zone, you're in the danger zone. That's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to be talking about two different pH meters in this video. The first is a HANA Instruments pH meter. And the second is an Opera Instruments pH meter. And I just want to start off by saying this isn't going to be a comparison video between the two pH meters because truth be told, they're not even in the same class. The Opera Instruments pH meter is not only half the price, but it has so many more features and benefits that uh, it, it just wouldn't even be a fair comparison. So that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you one piece of information that you're gonna need. And in my opinion, it's arguably the most important thing you need to know when it comes to your pH meter. And if you have a pH meter at home, you definitely wanna stick around for this because that piece of information that we're talking about is something called the slope. All right, so what is a slope value? Well, the slope value is a conversion process that your pH meter uses to convert the millivolts into pH. And depending on that percentage will determine the accuracy of your readings. So why is that important? Well, if your percentage slope is below a certain tolerance, then your readings are gonna start to become very inaccurate. pH meters are generally good for anywhere between 10 months to a year and a half depending on how you use it. And the easiest way to know whether your pH meter is still good is by understanding what the slope is. So what we're gonna do today is test some salami samples that I'm gonna have to toss because of faulty pH readings. You're gonna see that here in a minute. And we're gonna take the Appair Instruments pH meter, check out the slope, test the sample, and then we're gonna take the HANA Instruments pH meter and uh, test the pH. But before we do that, we need to know what the slope is on the HANA Instruments pH meter. Now. Unfortunately, I've never actually tried to figure that out. And what we're gonna do is get HANA Instruments on the phone and see if they can help us figure out what the slope is for their pH meter. Let's give them a call. Yeah, how you doing? My name's Eric. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. Hey, check it out. So I've got one of your pH meters here, the 99163. How do you find the slope on that particular meter? The 99163? Yeah. The meat. You cannot. The Oh, you can't. It doesn't give you any millivolts or nothing, no, so you're not going to be able to uh, to do any type of um, slope calculation. New Style actually has a millivolt reading, so you could go in and measure the millivolts and manually calculate your slope if you wanted to. All right, so just for, I guess, uh, future reference, what's the process of calculating the slope with the New Style, just out of curiosity? So basically, if you calibrate it to 7 and 4, for example, you would, you know, measure the pH 7 solution, write the millivolts down, measure the pH 4, write the millivolts down, um, subtract the two, and then you would divide that by the theoretical value of the millivolts for pH 4, which is like 177, you know, at 25 degrees C, and then you'd get a percentage that way. What's an acceptable percentage before you go, okay, maybe I need to change it? Uh, we give a tolerance from like 85 to 105, so it's pretty wide. Man, I appreciate the help. Thanks for the information. Bye-bye. That was Hannah Instruments explaining to us how to determine the slope uh, of your pH meter. Now, unfortunately, my model uh, doesn't have that capability. So the only way that I'm going to know whether or not I need to change my probe is if I get some really faulty readings and it starts to consistently affect my salami. So let's take a look at the Apera Instruments pH meter. And this particular feature comes on the PH60S-Z. If you take a look at the app on the home screen, you're going to notice some information. Right in the center of the app, it's going to tell you when was the last time you calibrated your unit, which is absolutely brilliant because you know we should be calibrating often but right above that you're going to get an actual slope reading which means this particular pH meter calculates your slope for you every time you calibrate your unit and so you don't have to figure it out the range for slope is anywhere between 105% and 85% and as soon as that slope percentage drops below 85% then you're going to want to consider replacing the probe 
This kind of information is priceless, especially if you're making things like salami or cheese where pH is critical. I mean, you want to know that you're getting an accurate reading without having to worry about what your slope is. And this is a great example. These are 40% weight loss, and I want you to see how soft they are. Of all the problems that you guys email me about on a weekly basis, this is hands down the most common, and it comes down to fermentation. Uh, it should be firm to the touch and should be completely firm throughout I mean, with a consistent texture. But when we cut it open, the meat inside looks raw uh, with no visible sign of dry ring. So it's actually drying relatively even. And I'm always experimenting with salami. This particular salami that I'm opening right now is a buffalo wild wing salami. Look at that marbling with blue cheese and everything in it. And the first one I was cutting into was the world's hottest salami, but <laughs> using some of the world's hottest peppers. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. And it didn't work out because of faulty pH readings on fermentation. They were pulled too early. And that's one of the major causes. And so here's what, what I want to show you. Both of these units are calibrated. I'm going to put the HANA pH meter in there first. It's testing at 4.83. Now I'm going to put in the Apera Instruments, it's testing at 5.45. Now the Apera Instruments has a slope of 98.9. I know that that reading is good. That HANA Instruments, I don't know that reading is good because I don't have a way to test it. But I can tell you that something's not right and it happened in the fermentation department. It was obviously pulled too early and hitting your pH safety hurdle is absolutely critical when making fermented sausages. Now, is this gonna kill you? Probably not. We had enough salt, we had enough cure number two, but the truth is, I don't know. It may make you sick. Uh, it may do nothing. Uh, the texture is certainly unappetizing, so I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and test this world's hottest salami. It's testing out at 5.25, where the Appair Instruments is 5.93, and I'm going to trust the Appair Instruments because I know the slope on it. Now, the pH meter for Hannah is about a year and a half old, and in about a year and a half, it is about time to change it, but you would never know unless you had a way to test the slope. So what's the lesson learned in this video? Well, it's important to know what your slope is on your pH meter. The Appair Instruments pH60S-Z makes it crystal clear. You don't have to do any calculations, but if you happen to have a unit that doesn't read it for you, do the math, apply the formula, figure out the slope, and that way you know definitively whether your reading is accurate. And I appreciate you watching. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. We post new videos all the time. We'll see you in the next one.